Hello, thanks for watching. I'm back in the kitchen again and tonight we're going to be making a red lentil curry. So tonight this is the red lentil curry recipe we're going to be using. It's supplies, supplied by Simply Cook. Uh, Simply Cook is a subscription firm. Um, you can get these weekly, fortnightly, monthly, choice is yours. And I think they cost about £9.99 for a box to come. And all you do is that you go on their website, pick the recipes you want, and you can have up to four, and they send you the spices to go with it, and you just add the rest of the ingredients. So this is what we're using tonight. I'm doing this for two. You can do this for four. I'm using some red lentils, butternut squash, sliced onions, coconut milk, a few greens, and these are the spices that you get from uh, Simply Cook. This one is ginger and lentil stock. This one is spicy garlic and coconut. And the last one is dal spice mix. So what we'll do, we'll get this cooking and we'll see how it comes out. All right, here we go for this evening's soiree. Put a little bit of oil and we'll fry the onions. And so we'll fry the onions for about six to eight minutes just to get them brown. And the way these onions are frying, as I say, it's a subscription company and it does cost £9.99 per box for enough of four different recipes. So again, while they're still frying, I'll show you the other recipes that I've got that come along with these. This one's a going fish curry. Oh, glare on here. Going fish curry. This one's a Thai red prawn curry. They're quite simple to make, they only take about half an hour. And this one's a jambalaya. Looks good. So they'll be interesting to see how they come out as well. It's a nice golden brown colour. Nearly there. Smell those onions. There we go. Right. I'll get the butternut squash in. I'll cook that for about four or five minutes as well. Colour them down as well. They'll start to soften up. Looking forward to this. Different. As I say, you can make this for four. I'm only doing this for two. All you do is you just add a lot more of your ingredients and just the same amount of your spices that you get. I'll just leave that for another couple of minutes. We have the spicy garlic and coconut. Give it all on. Give it all on. And give it a mix. Not on a high heat, it's only on a medium heat now. Now you put the red lentils in. Mix. <coughs> <coughs> oh, spices in it. Then you put in the the dough spice. Now it does say you can make this milder by putting this less of this in. But I'm going to put it all in. I like it spicy. There we go. 
on this. Right, then we get the coconut milk in. Looking good. Looking good. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the spaces are catching the back of my throat. Oh, almost forgot. Next, the last one to go in is the ginger lentil stock. That goes in after you put in your coconut milk. If I can get it open. Fail to open easy. So, then we add about 100 ml of water. There we go. And we just let that cook through for about half an hour. Looking good. Right. As I say, that's got about half an hour to cook now, so I've got a lid on it and we'll come back when it's ready right this is hopefully how it will come out also on the front it just tells you the the pace of the spices that you're using so that's the spicy chili and coconut and this one is the the dal spice mix and this one is the ginger lentil stock. Now, I did tell a lie. On the back of the box, it tells you the list of ingredients that's in each of the spice mixes. Now, the top one is the spicy garlic and coconut. The allergens is milk. The dal spice mix. The allergens are mustard and celery and the ginger stock, lentil stock, that's celery and that's the nutritional value there you go I've just took the lid off a minute, I've got to get the taste can it wait oh that tastes good can it wait I'm just going to take the lid off this now because I just want it to reduce a little bit to get it thicker. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm just going to put my greens in now just for five minutes. Give them a stir around. Uh, I'll just leave that for another five minutes. Now, if this is your type of video, uh, give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing because it's free at the end of the day and you see a lot of different other things being cooked. See if they come out all right or not. This one looks quite good. Looking good. And yeah, it's just a simple little dal curry. See the butternut squash is quite broken down now as well. Right, so there we go, that's it finished. That's about 30 minutes is cooked. We'll get that plated up now. As you can see, this is for two people, but there's really, there's enough here if you wanted to make it go further and just have this as a side dish with your curry or just have it on its own but there's more more than enough here for two people more than enough oh we'll get this plated up that's it done there we go I'm just going to put my little bowl I'll just put some in the bowl just to see 
just to show you what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's it done. Now, we'll compare as close. So we'll have a wee taste of this, see what it's like. So yeah, so that's it done, so I'm just going to have a little taste. Looking good. A wee spoonful. Oh, that tastes nice. That tastes really good. Um, it's not overly spicy, not overly hot. It's just nice. Have another bit. Mm. Hot. Hot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so if you've tried these, these recipes, from, um, where is it, Simply Cook, uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think of them, if you've tried them or thinking about trying them. But yeah, that, that is really nice. It's a nice little meal. Um, yeah, if you've tried these from Simply Cook, let me know and what you think. Anyway, I'm going to go and have my tea. So I'm going to, going to tuck into this, so I'm going to sign off for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, can't wait. Have a bit more. Oh, that's really nice. Really nice. Anyway, I'm going to go see you next time.